Hello friends, today we will be installing Windows Server 2019 in VMware Workstation. So before we proceed with the installation, for installing Windows Server 2019, we need the ISO file of Windows Server 2019. Quickly we will move to the website of Microsoft. Going to Microsoft website over here. You will click on all Microsoft under developer and IT you will click on Windows Server once you are redirected to this page you will scroll down till the end of the page and you will click the end of the page you will see an option try Windows Server now you will click on this try Windows Server now and you will get a page over here it is you can see Windows Server 2019 on premises you will click on download free trial so over here it will automatically scroll and you to this option windows server 2019 over here we will be selecting iso and click continue you have to fill this form uh, so the first name no last name i will say network company name no network company size i will be selecting anything a job title i will say system administrator architect you can select for any option over here you can select any option over here work it is asking for work email address so over here i will say like uh, no network and at gmail.com it is asking me for the phone number i will be providing my number and then after it's asking me for the country or the region since i'm residing now in united arab emirates i will click on united arab emirates then this is optional whether you want to receive the informational tips and offers about the solutions for business and organization so it's up to you if you want this you can check on yes or else leave it as it is and click continue uh, it will ask you that please select your language I will prefer English and you simply have to download this. Save the file once you click OK, the download will start. The file is downloaded. I will keep the video pause. So, guys, now you can see that uh, my ISO image file uh, image file is downloaded. Uh, over here, there are two steps. Very first step, you will be creating a new virtual machine. And once the virtual machine is created, then you will be proceeding with the installation of Windows Server 2019. So let's start with the step number one, create a new virtual machine. Uh, selecting typical option, I will click next. Over here, install a disk, install this image. Usually I have shown, shown you in the earlier videos, whenever we were installing the machines in the VMware, uh, we used to prefer and uh, we were just locating the file selecting this and uh, doing ok but there is some known error when you are installing windows server whether it is 2016 or 2019 this is the error which i would like to show you will be encountering when you proceed to the installation it will say you that windows cannot find the installation microsoft software license terms make sure the installation resources are valid and restart the installation so in order to avoid this uh, what we will do we will simply install the operating so uh, we will simply install the blank machine and then we will be going ahead with the uh, we will attach the iso file i will show you later on how to attach that as well so i will for that i will install the operating system later it is saying the virtual machine will be created with a blank hard disk let's proceed by clicking next uh, now you have to define over here what will be your guest operating system and the version uh, it's microsoft windows we are installing microsoft windows with the version windows server 2019 so we will select this and click on next it is asking me for virtual machine name uh, i will give the name as windows server 2019 uh, it is asking me to locate 
right? Uh, since in my C drive, the default path which it is showing now, I don't have much space. I will change the path and I will say I will be saving this machine in D drive with the name Windows Server 2019 and I will say OK. So let's proceed further by clicking next it is asking me for the disk size since this machine i will be using for some other sources as well so what i am going to do is i will be increasing the size to 80 gb if it is 60 gb by default and you, if you go with this option then also your machine will work there is nothing to worry about the option keeping as default that split virtual disk into multiple files i will click next over here uh, this is the what the settings are being shown for the machine i will customize the hardware but with the default setting if you finish that is also fine so since i told you that i will be using this machine for other purpose as well i need some more resources that's why or else you can go with the default option and guys this will definitely work i will finish so now over here before power on in the virtual machine before i power on the virtual machine i will select the edit virtual machine setting and i will be using this image file over here let me repeat again i have edited the virtual machine setting uh, then uh, over here in the cg dvd sart option uh, it is now auto detect i will just choose the connection to be used iso image file and i will browse that particular location where i have stored that iso image downloaded file this is the one and i will select this and i will click on ok as i told you that why we did this at uh, the time of creating the virtual machine we have not used that iso file but over here after creating the virtual machine we are doing this because uh, to avoid this known error uh, windows cannot find the microsoft software license terms make sure the installation sources are valid and restart the installation if you do this you will never encounter this error uh, and uh, I'm not saying that this error will come to everyone, but maximum time it is seen that when you are installing Windows Server on the VMware workstation, you can encounter this kind of error. So, just I will reiterate everything. We have created a virtual machine. Uh, in that virtual machine, we have followed a standard practice, but we have not selected the operating system over there. We said that I will install the operating system later. We have created a virtual machine once the machine was created before we power on this virtual machine we have edited the virtual machine setting and we have uh, given this uh, iso path now we will be powering on this virtual machine and hereafter we will proceed with our windows server 2019 installation So guys over here for the windows setup very first thing it is asking me language to install time and currency format keyboard or input method so i will keep everything as default because i need the english language to be installed and the currency format and time even i need in the english format so i will click on next uh, over here there are two options install now or repair your computer it's a fresh installation definitely we will be clicking on install now we will choose install now and the installation will begin now the setup is starting it will take some time okay fine so over here it is asking me to install the operating system and it has given me four options it is saying windows server 2019 standard function it's sorry standard evaluation windows server 2019 standard evaluation desktop experience windows server 2019 data center evaluation windows server 2019 data center evaluation desktop experience see this is standard evaluation and database evaluation are two different types of 
services provided by Microsoft. It can be a standard version or it can be a data center version. These are the versions. Okay. So depending upon this, we will we have covered in some uh, previous lectures over there. You will refer this. I will be putting the link. Uh, what versions are being provided by the Microsoft standard enterprise data center? That's a different story. But over here, for your understanding, we will be going in little bit deep only where we require this installation to be completed successfully so standard evaluation when you talk about uh, this is standard evaluation whether uh, or a data center evaluation this will be providing you with the op limited options i mean you won't be getting any graphical environment and it is saying also that for standard evaluation or for the data center evaluation it is saying that this option omits most of the windows graphical environment manage with a command prompt and powershell or remotely with windows admin center or other tools i need fully experience i need to fully experience the gui the graphic user interface so either i will go with a standard evaluation or a data center evaluation i prefer to go with data center evaluation since i need the graphical user interface i will opt for desktop experience and i will click next i will accept the license terms and click next i need a full installation custom uh, as if now i will not partition the list and then simply click next so now the installation has started it will take some time till that time i will keep the video pause friends now the window installation is just about to complete it's installing some updates and then it will finish the setup Okay, it is asking that window need to restart to continue. Okay, so let's restart. The system will reboot now till the time the system is booted. I will just pause the video again. So the machines have uh, so the machines have restarted now. It is asking me to enter the password for the administrator account. Okay, fine. I will just configure the password and I will finish the setup. So now you can see that you you uh, have complete you have completed the setup for Windows Server 2019, and now it is asking to log into the server with the we will put the password the one which we have just configured for the administrator account and we will click enter so that's all about the windows server 2019 installation but uh, i would like to inform you that whenever you install a guest operating system in vmware workstation you will face uh, issues like mouse mouse performance, video resolution, color depth, and etc. 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 These all issues will be sorted out by simply installing VMware tools by going to VM and install VMware tools. Once you have click on uh, by going to VM, once you have click on install VMware tools, you will be going to the drive over here you will see that this option over here simply you have to double click on this once you double click the setup will start you have to run the setup by just clicking next next and next so the setup is started now you will click next to install to run the wizard uh, you will go with the default option typical next 
install and one more thing now you can see the resolution is not fit to the screen so once the VMware tools are successfully installed you will see the screen resolution is also fitting to the screen over here yes guys you can see now you got a full screen over here and the visibility is perfect the mouse uh, performance is okay video resolution is perfect i'll click finish thereafter it will ask me to restart the system to check take uh, to change for the changes made to the sorry the for the changes configuration changes made to vmware tool to take effect i will click yes to restart or no to plan for manual restart later so i will click uh, uh, yes and we will restart the machine so your windows server is rebooting now so finally it's, it's restarted I am logging. So we have seen that VMware Tools is a suite of utilities that enhances the performance of virtual machines, gas operating systems, and improve management of the virtual machine. Without VMware Tool installed in your guest operating system, guest performance lack important functionality. This is also we have seen over here. So additionally, VMware tool has the ability to pass messages from the host operating system to guest operating system. So my friends, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe now and share with your friends. Thanks and see you in the next video.